Assalamualaikum My name is Hadi Dina bin Zainuddin I'm from class AT110183 My student number is 2020848532 And I will talk about monocots and decots plants Stay tuned Here is my slide or powerpoint about monocots and decots plants What is monocots and decots plants? Monocots and decots are two types of plants. Angiosperms, monocots have one cotyledon, but decots have two cotyledon. Cotyledons are the first leaves produced by plants. Cotyledons are not considered true leaves and are sometimes referred to as seed leaves because they are actually part of the seed or embryo of the plant. What is decots plants? The decotyledons, also known as decots or more, li more rarely decotyles, are one of the two groups into which all the flowering plants or angiosperms were formerly divided. The name refers to one of the typical characteristics of the group, namely that the seed has two embryonic leaves or cotyledons. There are some differences between monocots and decots plants. Firstly is embryos, second leaf venation, stems, roots, flowers, and seeds. Firstly is embryo. The embryo in monocots contains only one cotyledon or seed leaf. Embryo produces a single leaf that grows as a long and narrow structure during germination. The embryo in decots contains two cotyledons or seed leaves. Embryo produce two seeds that develop into different shapes than their true leaf. Okay, from the roots, monocots have an adventitious or fibrous root system. Monocot roots, xylem, and flowworm tissue bundles are arranged in a cir circular fashion around the central pit. But decots, most decots have a tap root system. However, some decots might have an adventitious root system. Since decots roots do, don't have a central pit area, parenchyma serve as connective tissue in the region. Okay, stems. Uh, monocots. The stem in most monocots is herbaceous. The most monocot stem is unbranched and fleshy. Most monocot stems lack a lateral meristem or cambium. Epidermal hairs are absent in monocot stems. From the decots, the, the stems in decots are either herbaceous or arboraceous. Decot stem is branched and hard. A lateral meristem or cambium is present in the stems of decot plants. Epidermal hairs are present in decot stems. Okay, leaf venation. Monocots, the leaf in monocots is isobilateral in symmetry. Monocots leaf have stomata on both upper and lower surface and thus are termed ampistomatous. The leaf have a parallel venation system. From the decots, the leaf in decots is dorsoventrally flattened. Decots leaf have stomata only on one of the surface of the leaf and thus are termed epistomatous. Next is flowers. Monocots flowers are usually trimerous, meaning the number of part of the flowers is either three or it's multiple. The flowers in monocots are usually wine pollinate. Uh, the decots, the decots flowers are usually tetramerous or pentamerous, meaning the number of the flower part is either five or four of their multiple. The calyx and the flowers in decots plants are usually insect pollinate. Lastly is seeds. Monocots have only one seed leaf inside the seed cot. It is often only a thin leaf because the endosperm to feed the new plant is not inside the seed leaf. Decots have two seed leaves inside the seed cot. They are usually round, 
and fat because they contain the endosperm to feed the embryo plant. That's all from me. Thank you.